Hey doing everyone, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an LED blink from the connector 4 of the uh, using the GPIOs on the Mini 2440. Okay, Okay. first what we're going to do is download the, the folder on the link below and we'll have actually the guide how to check, check if you are, have GPIO on your on your Mini 2440, if you're not, you have to activate it. So first, what we're gonna do is just go to Minicom, and we're gonna take actually and to the Mini 2440. Um, so what you're gonna do is just see this is uh, class, and ah, okay, ls, and then you're gonna see exactly everything you have there. You're gonna see if your GPIO is there, then you're good. If you're not, you just watch the video where it shows you how to set up the GPIO. You should build the GPIO on your kernel. Uh, so it's, since it's there, just like log on the GPIO folder, ls, and you're gonna see all this actually the GPIO in, um, ports on your Mini 440. Um, as uh, you can see in the actually in the picture. All the GPIOs, uh, all the GPIOs right here that you have access on your connector from the expansion connector for your Mini 2440. So what we're gonna do? Let's say we're gonna use a um, GPIO 160 to turn on and off the LED. So what we're gonna do first is, if you look in the tutorial, just actually copy this part. It's part 160. And now we have access to GPL 160 to go and to to be able to control the LED um, 160 because the LED is on 160. So if we set it high, it's actually actually since um, is the negative part of the LED the the, the LED to be to be able to turn on it needs to be low. So what we're gonna do is set this part low, and as you can see the LED. turns on but if it's high the LED will turn off because um, actually I'm using just common ground uh, common uh, positive to 3.3 volts um, so once you do that part that's very simple that's actually how you access the GPIO port and that will work for any if you want to use any of the other GPIO ports the 162, 164, 166 um, next thing what I'm going to show you is how to um, I found this program online called Blink. Um, that actually, that's exactly what we did, but adds um, a slip. This part would slip in one second. One second is going to be on. One, one second is going to be off. One second on, on, off, on, off every second. So um, I'm going to show you how to install this. Is actually you're going to log in into the FTP. Uh, same thing as before. It just takes a little time. Oh, uh, for the, if you hadn't set up a password, we're gonna set up a password because I think I forgot to set up the password, so it's just and now it won't work otherwise. This, this FTP doesn't want to work without password. This thing just ignore it and here. Okay, right now it's just what you're gonna do is just copy this in here. And now that it's there, it's just go back and now type um, it's just ls and you're gonna see that blink L sh is there. But since it's not involved, means it's not executable plural. Uh, it won't execute. It won't be. It's not executable. So what you can do is type uh, ch mode a plus x and then blink and then when you check again you see it's like a bolt so it means it will execute. So right now they type blink and then type 162 that means the port you use there where the LED, no I'm sorry 160. That's where the LED is 
and the LED should start blinking on and off. Okay, I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is very simple. Uh, how to make an LED blink on the GPIO ports of the Mini 2440. Thank you for watching.